Southport Square and welcome to another edition of Around the Square. I am not your executive director, Brian Hess, <laughs> and I will be sitting in for him today. Brian took the day off, the nerve of him. I think he's out on the beach today. Uh, yeah, I, a perfect day for the beach. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're watching the Weather Channel and you see someone body surfing, it's probably Brian. <laughs> So first, we'll start with the COVID updates. The state right now is at a 7.8% positivity rate, and Charlotte County itself is at a 15.5% positivity rate. As far as the CDC goes, right now we are at a moderate level or a yellow level for COVID. On campus today, we have three positive residents in skilled nursing and zero staff members. In memory care and assisted living, since we have no staff members and no residents that are COVID positive, we are no longer requiring masking in either level. As you know, Hurricane Nicole has now passed over us. And although we did not see a lot of rain, oops, we did see a lot of rain. Yeah, Can I'm looking at it, quite a bit of rain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hurricane Nicole has passed us now. And although we did see it quite a lot of rain, um, and some winds, we were not significantly impacted by the storm. I'm very thankful that the path was further north, so we did not sustain any further damages from the repairs that are currently in place. The blue team is wrapping up a list of what we call mitigation, um, which is the removal of water in impacted areas in the buildings. They'll be working on insurance approval and county permitting approval before they begin the rebuilding process. We are still uncertain of how long this is going to take, but we will keep you no notified. We are actively working with our landscaping company as well to get started with some of the new plantings, but we anticipate this work will also take some time to complete. Our Gables East renovation did not start back as we had anticipated this Monday, November the 7th, as our contractor was not able to get their labor teams back here on the property this week. We are waiting a new date from them so that we can communicate when they can restart the Gables East renovation. And last but not least, don't forget about our anniversary celebration. Smita and her team have something very special planned on Monday, November 14th at 7 p.m. And we look forward to seeing all of you there. Enjoy. Okay, now this is the part where you say, I hope you enjoy this episode. Okay. Go ahead. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Around the Square, and Brian will come back next week. <laughs> yeah, I have one thing to add to the report. What is that mystery voice in the background? <laughs> <laughs> um, on Friday, last Friday, Gables East uh, had their Gables East renovation meeting, and I was there after coffee chat to film. And that meeting turned more into hurricane um hurricane questions and answers and which I felt that a lot of residents here in west and east also would benefit so I will be airing that on a separate it's not going to be on around the square because it's fairly long but I'll be putting that out there on a separate email and Smita has agreed to put it on tv that sounds good thank you thank you All right, I got a news report. Hi. Doing all right, ladies. How are you? Hey, Lucy, I got a report from a resident that there's a bird in the bistro. Oh, yeah, there was a bird in the bistro. Where'd it go? It went home. I feel so bad. It's, oh, it's so it's not here. Who, who, who rescued him? So we had... Um, I window over there so Aww. I went he I scared him to the other window and I lifted that window up and then he was able to exit out of that window. Oh so. you saved the birdie. Yeah, yeah. Oh. she missed her mother and dad. Oh yeah. it was a baby huh? It was a baby. Tiny. Oh. It was a tiny baby. Yeah. Well I'm glad the baby bird was survived yeah. and, yes. and saved. All right well I uh, this is this is really breaking news. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is breaking news oh, around here. We, we saw yeah, it. Right. So yeah. here we have it. Here are the heroes that yes. saved the bird. Yeah. Good job, ladies. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Here we have a 
furniture that was donated from another uh, facility up in Brainton area. And um, all of this furniture is being donated to the associates that lost um, a lot of their furniture. So, um, these are nice quality items. And um, we just have some of the associates here picking out what they want um, and what they need. And, uh, boy. I tell you, this is just wonderful. What a good thing. Um, what a very nice thing to, to help everyone out with. Moving trucks here. Okay, Looks like that's saying. the end I'm of it. Uh, we had two moving trucks filled with furniture. And uh, it really is, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Um, but uh, every one of these pieces has been spoken for. So nothing that was donated went unwasted. So. Uh, we are very grateful for this. Good morning, everyone. I'm here with Kathy Carland, a resident from Gables East and also a member of the Employee Appreciation Fund Committee. And we're here with Carol Erickson from Charlotte State Bank and Trust. Now, these two ladies have a message for all of the residents, correct? Correct. We are getting close to the deadline for the Employee Appreciation Fund. November the 15th is going to be the last day to donate for this year's Employee Appreciation. Um, employee Appreciation is really important because we can't tip. We're not allowed to tip anyone. So if you can't tip, how do you express your appreciation? We can do it as a large group and then it goes to all of the hourly wage employees. And one of the ways that you can donate is by coming to Carol. Oh. Hi everybody. Um, even though you do not bank with me, uh, you can come down and deposit money into the account. You can bring cash or a check from uh, your bank and I can take care of that for you. And of course I would love to meet some new people around here that I haven't met before. So you can come down here and like she said, I guess November 15th is the last day. So come and see me. I'm open Monday through Friday from 9 to 12. Okay. And, and that's right here in the village. So it's not even, you don't even have to get in a car and go anywhere. You can do that right here. So please donate. Thank you so much. Now, you and I were talking about the Employee Appreciation Fund. Yes. Um, which is completely run by the... Um, by the residents here and funded by the residents yes. here and it's for the hourly associates yes the, the people that we can't tip that mm -hmm. you would normally tip can't we can't do it any other way except for through the southport square employee appreciation fund yeah so each year we donate and we hope that lots of people will donate because we want to let you know how much we love you. Oh, oh. Can you tell me who would be the hourly employees? You yourself would be, what do you use your money for when you get it? Yeah, I, I actually am a recipient of that um, because I am, even though I am an executive assistant, I'm still an hourly associate. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it's, it's a blessing. Um, I typically use it for my, um, my Christmas meal, I use a lot, a majority of it because all of those things are so expensive, oh, yes. you know, um, and I'll go and order from the bakery, you know, all of, I, I order from Nino's and I get all my lobster tail and, you know, Ooh, all, yeah. I'm coming to your <laughs> house. Bakery, not the real lobster <laughs> tail, but the, you know, the cream filled ones mm -hmm. and um, all of the, the entertainment things that you have yes. when your family comes over. So and especially with the price of everything oh now, my goodness. that just comes in handy. It, it, it really does. Um, another thing that I do is um, I have adult children. So obviously the best gift to give them is cash. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but if I, and I've already done that because I put money aside for Christmas for them. But this just how it does just help me. And maybe I can buy something for myself, maybe a new pair of shoes, uh, you know, something for myself something um for christmas you yeah. know just a nice little thing um i do know that we have a lot of our associates um 
a lot of people behind the scenes that residents don't see every single day. Yes, the who are those people? So we have the lovely ladies of the laundry. Yes. Those ladies, um, they're sweetest, sweetest can be. They clean but, our tablecloths, yeah. they clean our sheets and towels. Yeah, they, they, they do all the behind the scenes cleaning and we don't see them. No. But they're part of Olga's team. Yes. Olga's team. Those housekeepers work hard. Are, they work hard. I mean, I, I, I don't even like cleaning my own house. No. And they're cleaning eight of them a day. I know. You know, so my back would be killing me. <laughs> yeah. And um the servers, you know, the the they're not just the kids. These no. are adults that yes. are back, you know, in there. Uh the utility workers in the kitchen. I mean, especially because of the hurricane. How much wonderful care did we get from all of you? Mm. We were so cared for above and beyond. And I'm thinking employee appreciation this year is even more important because of that too. Mm. But we have transportation. Oh yeah, the all, all the, the bus drivers, all of the guys that bring you to and from the, your doctor's appointments, the receptionists, the CNAs, the uh, nurses. Yes. Um, Again, the dining staff in all different levels of care that we have. We have assisted memory care uh, activities people, Smita's girls. We have over 400 mm -hmm. yeah. employees, right? Yes. We have over 400 employees, mm -hmm. and most of them we don't see. Yeah. And sometimes people say, well, I only want to give my just a tip to this person or that person, but we can't do that. Right, right. And and when you think about it and all the people that we have here, there are a lot of people that you don't necessarily see. I've used transportation maybe three or four times since I moved here mm -hmm. four years ago, but they're there for me. Right. If right. I need them, they're there for me. Absolutely. And they deserve a tip. Yeah, there's they a lot of people behind the scenes um, that the average resident wouldn't see right. um, that person. You don't see the dishwasher. You don't see the housekeeper that's doing the laundry. Um, you don't see the nurse that's handing out the meds exactly. or the admissions clerk. Exactly. You know, or, you know, even the transportation dispatcher. Exactly. So there are a lot of people that are behind the scenes that, that make this, that are, make this well-oiled machine run um, and so we all appreciate you yes. um, acknowledging oh. us and the generosity every year has been instrumental in our holiday celebration. Yeah, it I, really I want this year to be bigger, though. Oh. I want this year to be bigger because of how you just cared for us so much oh. during the hurricane and after I'm just amazing amount of care. I feel very loved. Yeah. And I feel very safe, and I feel like Southport Square is my great big giant family. <laughs> and with the hurricane being here, I want people to donate extra this year if they can, just just to help people out. Mm. Um, you all did such a wonderful job for us, ignoring your own homes and your own families for a time, too. Mm. So it's just this year, I really, really want people to go big if they can, please. <laughs> And I, that's that's it. That's what I want to say to people. Please donate. There's a box in the lobby in the East Building. There's a box in the lobby in the West Building. We went to see Carol at the Charlotte State Bank in the Village. That's another way you can donate. And if you can't get to any of those things, call Henry Lackland. Oh, he'll love me for saying <laughs> that. Call Henry Lackland. Or you can call me. I'm Kathy Carlin. That's with a K. K-A-R-L-E-N. Because mm -hmm. people always want to spell it with a C. Uh -huh. You can call me and we can help arrange anything that you want. Some people donate by check. Some people donate uh, uh, by a automatic withdrawal from their account. Oh. So, and some do cash as and well. And some do cash. If it's cash, we prefer that not go into the boxes. We like just checks to go into the boxes. Mm -hmm. If it's cash, the bank is a better place. But if you can't get it to the bank and you need to do cash, you call us and we'll get to you and we will make sure your money is donated. We can show you the receipt when we're all done. If this is this is the place that I'm so glad I live here. I just want everybody to know how happy I am. And that's a way for me to let them know that. Oh, well, we love you, too. As <laughs> as an employee here, um, going through this storm, not it was my job to do. 
um, and I, I would do it again. Uh, um, I wouldn't want to do it again. No, I don't no. want to go through another Please hurricane. Please never. <laughs> <laughs> but this really, I, I, I uh, as an individual, have fallen in love with Southport Square all over again. Yes. Um, you and I were talking earlier. This is one big family. It is. It really is. It really um, is. I, I, I'm amazed about how I know majority of the residents. I know. And I know their children. Yes. I know what's going on with some of them, mm -hmm. with their lives, if mm -hmm. they share it with me, yeah. obviously. But it's just a welcoming place. It and is. I personally could not have survived this hurricane aftermath without the love and support yes. from the residents. Yes. Um, I personally could not mentally handle it. But I have wonderful residents that are constantly calling and looking out for me yes. concerned for me and from my bottom of my heart i thank all of you for yeah. that love and and respect and just pure concern mm -hmm. it really does mean a lot it does it really and, and does we, we want to show that to you so that's why i'm doing this otherwise i wouldn't let you film me <laughs> <laughs> so here we are in gables west and this box is located at the very front desk right in front of the reception desk and uh kathy that this is where they would just come and um just make a deposit and this is clearly marked mm -hmm that that is the resident employee appreciation program box and no cash in there uh -huh. if it's going to be cash call henry call me or go if, to the or bank go to the bank that's right. easy to do and if not it's a check you do not need an envelope because henry doesn't need to open all the envelopes <laughs> you just write your check and you open it up and you put it in and that was my check. Yay! And I don't live in this building, but it doesn't matter which building I put it into. Right, because it, it goes, all goes in the same every, till. It's for the entire employees. Yes, it's for everybody. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank Rashida. You. Hi. Now, Rashida is the new Gables East receptionist, and you're here Monday through Friday, correct? Yes. All right. Well, Rashida, can you tell me where the employee appreciation box is here in Gables East? Yes, I can. All right. Oh. Right over here. You follow Rashida. Oh, it's just right across from you. Yes. All right, very nice. Have you had any residents ask you where it's from? Where is it? Yes. And you've just directed them right to here. Yes. All right, wonderful. Um, you do you do you know what the employee appreciation fund is for? No. No? Not. Well, it's for wonderful people like yourself. Okay. So our wonderful residents, they donate every year to this fund, this employee appreciation fund. Okay. And then at the end of the year, around Christmas time, they take that and it goes by the... I'm not sure exactly what the... How, how long they've been here, a whole yeah, year? Yeah, it goes by if you've been here a whole year, a half a year, a quarter of a year, whatever the amount of service that you've provided with us. Okay. Um, that determines the amount of the check that they divided up amongst all of okay. us and give us a check. Well, hello, Curry. Hi, Don. How are you today? I'm good. Well, everyone, this is Curry McLaughlin. He is the fifth floor representative Yes, um, of Gables West, and he is also part of the Employee Appreciation Fund. Are you a, a member? No, I'm the president of Flightgra. Oh, Flightgra, that's local right. Local chapter. But uh, I, I'm here not to talk about Flightgra today. I wanted to talk about the Employee Appreciation Fund. Uh, as I had mentioned recently at the resident council, uh, all of us have been through kind of a traumatic thing with the storm and the hurricane but i noticed when we were going through it of all the staff that kept us safe and what they did and what they went through i mean we were kind of housed on the fourth floor in the hallway and when the windows blew out and the glass was flying and the curtains were whipping around two young ladies came running towards us with their ponytails in the breeze and their baseball caps and the glass flying and asking us please stay away from the doors that we we're trying to hold the fire doors shut because they were going to hold them for us and keep us safe while the maintenance men who came running with their drills and tapping into the concrete and sweat rolling down their faces as they ran from one explosion to the other 
that was like one of the few things that I met, saw. Another thing was that after the hurricane was over, uh, one of the men I asked how he made out in the storm, one of our maintenance staff, and he said, and this was several days after, and he says, I have no idea. I haven't been home yet. And I said, gee, what are you doing? He says, well, I'm trying to get your hot water going so you have hot water in the morning. This is the people that take care of us. We have an employee appreciation fund. We're coming to the end of the year. Henry Lackland is the head of it, and it cuts off at November the 15th. So I'm just putting a plea out there now. Many of the, our staff have been through a lot. Their homes have been damaged. Some of them are ruined. Maybe you can dig a little deeper this year. Maybe you can help them out just a little bit. Thank you. I was just in disbelief, like my brain can rest and I'll be over there. I won't see you there anytime soon, but if you do, I will, I will take good care of you. You know I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting me. You always cheered me on. You believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. Thank you so much. And you were at my graduation. Half of y'all came. Half of y'all came. Yes. Thank you so much. Irma, congratulations. We've all been here with you through this journey. I know it was And you're, oh, we're so proud of you. I'm happy to tears for you. Thank you. Thank oh, you so, so what, what's next? I have an interview Friday. Oh. But I'm, I, I'm not leaving yet. I'm not giving up my uniform. Like, yeah, I'm coming in. You're not for me. And some new jokes, too. Some new jokes. But I'm still coming oh, that's in. That's so not wonderful. Over. It's not over. We need you. It's not over. It's not over. And thank you for it's last night. Over. Last and night you're was welcome. It was wonderful. Yeah. I got to go with our beautiful Irma. Hi, Irma. Hi, good morning. Irma, you have wonderful, wonderful news for all of us. Yes. What is this news? I passed the board. So you are going to be an LPN. An LPN. Yes. Well, congratulations. I'm so Thank you so much. Now, Thank how, you for all your support. And yes, I, I remember sitting here watching residents tutor you. Yes. And guide you. Yes. And um, this has been a fantastic yes. thing to yes. watch. Yes. Now, um, you were also a scholarship recipient for this to get Ye this LPN, right? Um, for the AA. For the AA. AA, I okay. did. Yeah. But you, so, but you've been getting your education through here while Absolutely. you're working. Yes. And, oh, yes. That's and the tutoring, it was endless. It oh. was endless. I'm so grateful. Well, we're so very proud Thank of you. you. So Congratulations. Thank you so much. I love you all so much, and you know it. You're not getting away from me yet. I'm, I'm not giving up this You're not uniform. giving up the uniform No, I'm yet. not. Okay. No, I'm not. All, <laughs> all right. Congratulations, Thank you so sweetheart. much. God is good. God is good. behind the scenes in the Gables East kitchen. Corey, what are you cooking up, buddy? Oh, uh, I got, um, uh, I'm getting ready to roast up some, um, uh, potatoes with onion and mushroom. Ooh, oh, is this a thing. side dish? Yeah, one of the side dishes. Yeah. Ooh, yummy. I came just in time. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Right in time. Wait, that's a lot of mushrooms. Yes, ma'am. That is a lot of mushrooms. So, how many potatoes do you have to eat? Oh, I got two containers. We're going to deep fry, and we're going to turn around and saute it with onion and mushroom. Oh, how nice. Yummy. So he's got some potatoes there and onions. Hey, Mike, what are you cooking? Uh, just the pizza. I got a lamb, uh, beef tenderloin. Ooh. Do uh, so you have, that's the pork? Yes. Ooh, and lamb. Ooh, I, I wish you all had smell a vision in here. Corey, yeah, we need smell a vision. This lamb, we took a variety of mushrooms, combine them together. We're going to saute it off with some um, onions and potatoes. Did you get a good picture of that? Yeah. Look at that. Ooh, that looks yummy. It smells good. A little good. bit more salt and pepper to it. 
goes the lamb. So, Corey, how long have you been cooking here? And on Southport Square? Yeah. It's been, to be specific, it's been a year and about 10 months. Oh, so almost two years. Almost two years. All right. All right. I knew I worked here before at Harvard. Did you really? Yes, for a couple of years. Oh, and you just decided to come back, huh? Yeah, I wanted to come back on the east side. On the east side, <laughs> that's right. East side. Yeah. How are you, my dear? I'm fine. How are you? I'm well. What are you making? Uh, a mess. A mess. <laughs> Salad. Oh. It's gonna have beets on the bottom. Uh huh. It's gonna have arugula. It's gonna have pear slices. Oh. It's gonna have onion. And then it's gonna have um, nuts on top of it. Oh. And okay. then it's gonna have red, blood, orange, shallot, vinaigrette. Oh. <laughs> blood, <laughs> orange, vinaigrette. Wow. And so you're just preparing the to go. Oh, and croutons. Too. Oh, and croutons. Okay. And so these are just the to go orders that you're plating now, right? Right. right. Oh, Mike, what is this? This is uh, a free and puff pastry. This is an apricot butter. Then we have a raspberry preserve and then uh, an apple slaw. Oh, wow. Wow, that looks wonderful. Mike, do you like doing these events where you can show off a little bit of more of your talents? Yes. Yeah, yeah I, I, I can see the uh, you're, you're highly focused, and I don't mean that in a negative way, not that you're never focused, but this really, this is your element. So what again is this? So explain again what this, this is. Raspberry and, uh, or it's brie and a puff pastry. It's an apricot butter, it's an apple slaw, and then a raspberry uh, preserve. It's gonna get a, each one's going to get a little bit and then a baguette goes on top and then that's oh, the appetizer. Oh, so this is the appetizer. Oh, that looks Look at that. Greg and I are going to go in the freezer. Well, the fridge, the walk-in. Oh, we have swan. stop it. Look at how adorable those are. And then you're going to oh. get a, a swan and a cookie. Uh, so is that a cream puff? Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Did you make those? No, Chef made them. I made, I, made I put them together. I oh, put them okay. Together. You were the assembler. Uh, and so I also th made the cream. Oh, very nice. You want to taste the cream? Good. I will be taking some home. Yes. Okay, there we that, go. That swan right there mm -hmm. that's peeking over, you're what coming you home with me. There we go. You want it now? <laughs> you're talking about. So they're oh. going to get a swan and a cookie? And a cookie. <laughs> hey. Oh, fresh made cookies. Yes. Ooh, what flavor is that? Mike, how do you describe these? It's Royale. It's similar to the Brookfield. Oh, is it? You brought back the 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 brookie it's got the chocolate chip, it's got chocolate that chip coconut, and that coconut and all. Oh, oh hey, yum! Hey. I'll take a dozen. I'll take a dozen. Okay. And then we have now, curry still on the potatoes. You gotta do a taste sample. Coffee. All right, let's do it. Hi, Adria. How are you, dear? Wow, what is that that you've got going on? Uh, we have a polenta. Oh, that's the polenta. Wow. Okay. All the asparagus and all the sauces. Oops. Oops. Sorry, no. here I'm out. Of, I'm all hey, right. Um, Please let me taste this test. This is for you. Yes, ma'am. Now you have to blow on it because it's coming piece. right off. Little this piece. is. I mean, you can't get no little than this. There you go. <laughs> take that. All right. Okay. Let's Be see. careful. Don't drop it. You gonna taste with me? Oh, I already sample it, but I'll yeah, taste another one. Here Hold we go. on. We'll, we'll yeah, do it together, right? Yeah. Okay, hold on. You, like you want to do the cheers thing, Yeah, we huh? got to do cheers. <laughs> there you cheers. Go, cheers. Happy anniversary. Okay. Yeah, that's good, though. Okay, now. A lot of flavor. And it's all natural flavors. The, the mushrooms. Were those out, um, shallots or were those uh, onions? Those onions with the mushrooms, it's like two or three different types of mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. And of course the um, single potatoes. Oh yeah, that's the, that has a lot of flavor. What do we have back here? There's Jean, my friend. How are you, buddy? So how 
long have you been? I haven't really seen you in such a long yeah, time. I'm busy, you know? Now, you work as in the utilities yes. here, mm -hmm. and you also uh, work as a, an assistant or an aide with yeah. uh, IHS, right? Yeah, when they are busy, yes, I go and help. So you pick up some extra hours yeah. over there yeah. as an aide yeah. because you have that certification. Yeah, and keep the job going. You know? Yeah, and now, my friend, how long have you been here? Seven years. Seven years. Yeah, I know. I've seen you and I have seen each other passing all the time. I know, and you're yeah. such a pleasant man. Yeah, yeah. Me too. You too. Yeah. Well, thank always, you. Always, always, thank you. always. Yeah. Did you fare well during the hurricane? Yes. Okay. Fine, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we all will get through the storm, but I'm glad you did okay. Thank and you're you for Thank you. Thank you. So, what are you doing now? You're you're cleaning up the uh, to go containers. Yes, yes. So, will they? Are they preparing the meals and they'll oh, be yeah. putting and it in that? Prepare and then prepare the plates, give them, and then pull them. Too. All right, yeah. I see. Yeah. All right, my dear. Well, okay. you have a great day. Good, good see seeing you, good you good again. See you. So how many swans did you assemble? 175. 175? Yes, it took me two hours. How many did you eat? None. Really? Yes, really. You. I don't have time. <laughs> no. See, I would be like the I Love Lucy episode I where do. she was at the candy factory. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You would just sit there, one for you, two for me, one yeah, really? for you. <laughs> yeah. But now those, those right there are really good. Let's try those. Um, what are those? Those right there are the. Uh, are what these are the fruits? They? The croutons. Oh, so are those fresh made croutons, yes, Mike? Yes, made them. Wow. Cut up the bread and everything. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Wow, that does look good. Okay, look good. I know what I'm that looks delicious, does. yeah. And here we have Chef Culver. Hey, Joe, what do you know? Hey. What are you doing? I'm making a vegetable Napoleon for one of our vegetarian restaurants. Oh, so you're making a special meal just for the vegetarians. Yes. And you do this in both East and West? Yes. Oh, that's a nice, that, that's really nice. And what did you call this? A vegetable Napoleon. A vegetable Napoleon. So we have Napoleon. eggplant, uh -huh. zucchini, yellow squash, tomato, wild mushrooms. Yeah, those mushrooms are delicious. I had those earlier. And we're going to put a little ricotta cheese wow. on here. So we put another layer. Now that, what is that? that Egg, eggplant. That's eggplant, fried eggplant. And then we do another layer. Oh, 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 oh. oh wow, how colorful is that? Yellow and green zucchinis, to tomatoes. I'm not even a vegetarian and that looks delicious. It does. And now, we're going to put this in the oven. Uh-huh. With some smoked Gouda cheese. Oh, good job, Ed. Look at that. And we got the lid that goes on top of it. So that is a triple layer. Yeah, this is some mushrooms. Vegetable Napoleon. Vegetable Napoleon. And then we have a Romesco sauce that goes on top of it, which is a roasted red pepper and tomato oh, sauce. Oh, wow. How long do you put that in the oven for? That's gonna be in there about seven, eight minutes. Oh, okay. So everything gets nice and hot. Yeah. And then voila, we serve it. And everything gets blended. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm to start getting all of their Laura, is this a couple or a single one? It's a single one. Laura. Laura, you look so pretty. Hold on, let me see. Swirl, swirl, swirl. I love your hair today. Fun, and right? the gold. Oh, I know. Fabulous. Love a lame. <laughs> well, hello, Mrs. Carlin. I have gotten so much of you today in your gorgeous shirt. I love that sparkly shirt. Thank you. Your wife is beautiful. Yes, she is. Awesome. She's I certainly agree is. with that. <laughs> <laughs> the sparkles and the suit. 
Yeah. Where am I gonna put you tonight? I don't know. I'm gonna put you a table nine. How's that? We're gonna put you right here. Champagne. Do we have wine? Do we have Hi, Dale. How are you? How are you? Oh, sharp as a sponge. Sharp as a sponge. That's one of my favorite sayings that you do. Well, good going. <laughs> wow, so are you excited about tonight's meal? Pardon? You excited about tonight's meal? You don't get excited about when I get it, yes. <laughs> when you get it. He's John! Too, he's too old. <laughs> I love the tuxedo. Hey, it's a special occasion. Are you wearing shoes? Can't get in. Oh, wow, shoes. it really is a special occasion. <laughs> well, it's so nice to see everyone. And it's nice to be back in the dining room, isn't it? Oh. Well, I hope you all enjoy. Hello, Mademoiselle. Let's see the fashions here. Look at these beautiful ladies. Hi. Oh, I love that jacket. Isn't that beautiful? It is. What is that? Is that velour? What is that? And the lady wearing it is lovely. Yeah, she is. She is just a lovely lady. My head's going to get me. You have tacks here. Well, look in here. You get, what, what do we got? What do we got? What do we, you get your room. Oh, look at that. I'll take the strawberry. Thank you. Oh, that, this yeah, is no one of my favorite. No, no chocolate. No chocolate. <laughs> Anita Wise Glass is a new resident here in Gables East. Let's see what you're wearing. Let's see this. Oh, that's pretty. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, yes, that is pretty. Pretty. Nice. Anita, enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy. Hi, you look lovely. Doesn't she? Beautiful. Oh, and then we have the lovely Jerry Faith. Jerry, let's see. Turn. Oh, wonderful. You know, Jerry, last week we saw you in a mummy outfit. <laughs> well, you just never know how I will appear. Yeah, I love seeing everyone dressed up. Isn't it nice to see that? I know, it's so nice. Good time. And it's nice to see everyone back in the dining room. Very much so. This is the last of my 430 CD, which is perfect. Enjoy. Well, thank you. It, Enjoy. It, everything looks really delicious on the menu. <laughs> oh, wait till you see what... I, I was in the back there when they were preparing everything. Good. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, hello, you two. The Gressards are here. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> And we have the lovely Doucette. Happy oh, yeah. anniversary. Happy anniversary to you. Oh, well, I wish I had a wine glass, but let's right. see a clink. clink What's clink, the clink? clink. Yay. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. I'm sure we will. We'll save money. We have these lovely ladies. Hello. So we're cheap dates. You're cheap dates because you don't drink, huh? <laughs> I'd love to, but it doesn't like me. Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. Oh. <laughs> Over the years, I had my share. <laughs> Who do we have over here? We see, I see the Colbers. Hi, everyone. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Just say hello to a room square. <laughs> I promise, I promise. <laughs> it's going to be a very big, long dinner. It's a workhorse piece. Take the salads out. It's got beets, arugula, onions, sliced pears, nuts, or blood orange vinaigrette, and croutons. Yeah. Now, Chef, you came up with this menu, correct? Yes. Um, these are interesting flavor combinations, but they're also very classic. Um, what made you decide on this menu? The idea was having this meal on all courses was to have fun. Mm -hmm. To experience many flavors on each dish. 
So there's different flavors, textures, and taste on each dish that you'll have tonight. Ah. Yeah, it, it, it is a very interesting dish. Something to please your palate, you know, matter yeah, savory, to have sweet. fun and taste different things. Yeah. The apple slaw. Now, what's in that? Just shredded apples? It's shredded apples, and they're marinated in apple cider vinegar. Uh huh. A little sugar, and a little bit of crushed red pepper. Crushed red pepper with green apples, huh? To give it a little bit of kick when uh, at the very end. Ah. Learn something new every day, I tell you. Can you tell me when we're complete? When the baguette hits the plate, you can take it. And here come the baguettes. Dawn, you are right in the action. You're in the hot spot. I am, and I'm in the way. Get back over here. I'm in the way. I'm moving. I'm moving, honey. <laughs> and now we have a brand new server. On their way out the door. Let's go follow those appetizers. Let's follow those appetizers. Hello, everyone. How are you? Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. To you too, buddy. Cheers. Cheers to you too. Cheers. Around the square says cheers. Cheers to you. Thank you. Thank you. I just watched them plate that and it looks fantastic. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, Gressert? Okay. Say hello for Around the Square. Hi. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Enjoy the appetizer. Thank you. Thank you. It's your birthday. Thank you. All right. I'm going to sing to you. You ready? Ready. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. <laughs> Happy birthday, honey. How old are you? 59. 85? 59. 59? Nope. Oh, wow. I'm going to say wow. 85 and I'm going to live to be over 100. There you go. Absolutely. We thought she was only 40. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. How are you doing, Vi? Bye. How are you, Vi? How, how are you? How are I? Five. And you are a, a, a young, brisk. 103. 103. Yeah. Whoa, God bless. Wow, and how long have you been here, Vi? Here? Yeah. No, five years. Five years? Oh. Okay, Vi, you've been here for about five years, and you're 103 years old. So it is safe to say this must be the fountain of youth. Is this the fountain of youth? Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I came here. Yeah, really. Yeah. It's working. It's, it seems to be working well. I have to say, you look fantastic. 103. God bless. And a good bridge player. And may I add, a schnazzy dresser. Look at that outfit. I love it. We should well, all look as good as you, Vi. I need to find someone. It's Kay. It was your birthday yesterday. Today. Oh, today? No, it was yesterday. It was yesterday. Okay. You ready? This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. <laughs> Happy birthday, beautiful. Thank you so much. And how much. old are we? Are we sharing this information? Uh, 75. 75. Okay. Uh -huh. Is that your story? She's <laughs> no, no. I know. I'm, gonna, I'm walking away in case the lightning hits us. Yes. <laughs> So really, how old are you, Kay? Not saying. Don't answer that. Twenty-six to fifth. I know. Okay. No, fifty-eight. No. Okay. Fifty-eight sounds better. Fifty-eight is my son. Fifty-eight is your son. All right. So you're only sixty-eight. That, well, you better oh, that'd be a little 70, 75? Okay, yeah, that sounds better. Yeah, you don't want to sound like you were a kid. 
Very young, yeah. I got very young. <laughs> well, happy birthday. You look fantastic. Let's see the dress. Come on, let's see. Hold on, hold on. Ooh. We have the wild mushrooms, an assortment of four different types of mushrooms. Then we have the potatoes with the mushrooms and onions. Hollandaise sauce. Hollandaise sauce. Bernays sauce. Bernays sauce. Grilled asparagus. Delicious. Seared polenta cake. Oh. We have rack of lamb, pork tenderloin, and beef tenderloin. And we're going to have Chilean sea bass come oh, out here shortly. That... We're getting ready for our first plate up. All right, I'm excited to see that. And oh. here we have a caramelized onion jam, which goes with the pork. Here we have a mint gremolato oh, that goes that. With, with the lamb. Yeah. And the Bernays sauce goes with the beef tenderloin. Oh, and the asparagus, right? Oh, of course. Of course. Now, is that all one dish? The, the three meats all on yes. one? The three proteins it's, all in one meal? It's called the, the trio mignon. Oh. So the lamb, the beef tenderloin, the pork pork tendaloin, all on one plate. Oh, you have them. Are you gonna make me one to go? Uh, Maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll see what's left. Yeah, Aww. I'd be happy. I'd be happy to. <laughs> we gotta feed the residents first. Though. I know, I know, but boy, I, I, it's really hard not to pick. Oh yeah. It, it's really I hard. I know. We do that off camera. Yeah, I know. I have my, uh, <laughs> I have my little dish here, tasting. We have to taste and sample to make sure well, it's yeah, safe. Well, yeah, we have to make sure it's safe, you know. <laughs> What's that again, Chef? Adrian is the powerhouse that drives the East Kitchen. Yes, she is. You don't want to mess with Adrian. <laughs> She's the boss. And you, don't want to, you don't want to make a mess back here either uh -huh. because Adrian will get on you about that. Well, that's because I, I've known Adria for quite a while. Yeah. And she takes great pride in she her She is job. a perfectionist. Yes. And yes. you expect people to be at your standard when you cook. And a hard worker as yeah. well. Yeah. What are we doing back here? What are you doing back here? I don't know. I just see a bunch of people slacking around. Adria. Adria's goofing off, huh? Yeah. I'm... Adria, come yeah. on, you're goofing off. Come on, Adria. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have the pork, the... the uh, Mint gremolata. Mint remolata. The onion jam. The onion jam.
Bernays going on. Bernays. Oh. Oh, look at that. And the land. Oh. oh, it's fantastic. Andrew, are you very proud of this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, look at that beautiful presentation. Gorgeous. Oh. That looks amazing. They say we eat with our eyes. And uh, my eyeballs are pretty hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that is a beautiful, that's beautiful. Very nice, Chef. All righty. That's almost as good enough teeth. That, that's right. Okay, Don, this is the fish. All right, I'm going to come over here. We have polenta cake. Uh-huh. Asparagus. Hold well, on, I'm going to get on the other side here. Oh, perfect, perfect. Chilean sea bass. Oh, that's a nice big piece of fish. Look at how that. Yeah. Three greenlings. Better. Three onions. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. Now, what sauce is this? Hollandaise sauce. Hollandaise. Okay. Okay. Wild mushrooms. Oh, wow. Green onions. That is beautiful. Gorgeous. I would eat that too. I would definitely. Can you put that in your to-go? All right, <laughs> may I? All three of you right now, I would just like to say, great job. Fantastic. You. You. you guys did wonderful. You guys did great tonight. You still making those salads? I gotta make salads all night long. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm, I used to love to eat salads all the time. Now I'm getting it. <laughs> another thing to eat besides a salad. <laughs> Don't, uh, every time I come back here, I walk past the croutons and I take one. Good. So Next I think time, take two. This time, yeah, this has been my eighth trip down here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If you watch, now this is something you could do. And you'd like it. Say, look, guys, over there at the, at the wall. And when they look, you grab one of them little flaming mignons. Oh, that's a good <laughs> idea. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get when Adrian's not looking. Oh, they look yeah. so good. I want they one. do, they do. <laughs> you guys knocked it out of the park. Hi, Jerry. You did a very important job. You are a good water pitcher filler. and you're doing a fine hydration. job. Hydration. Hydration is part of one's health. Hydrate, hydrate, and hydrate. That's right, and the nurse knows best. That's right. So which wine bottle are you opening? All of them. <laughs> All of them. And, and, and this is I know. This I need, is the first time. I need one of those. Um, I need Santa Claus to bring me one of those. Yeah. I know. It makes it so much easier on you. It even has a reverse. I think this could even be like a propulsion. You could probably shoot somebody's eye out with it. <laughs> it's a different kind of Christmas story. Hi, gentlemen. How was your meal? How was it? It was good? Very good. Yeah, the lamb. Delicious, huh? Nice and pink. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Looks good. Vicki. Hey, Don. Do you want to hear a joke? Sure. Why do you spell dark with a K? 
I don't know. Why do you spell dark with a K? Because you can't see in the dark. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that joke came from Karen McCarty, who then heard it from Jody in activities. <laughs> so thanks, Jody.